Outriders, it's been all the rage. Everyone's been playing it, especially me, after it took me half a day to actually connect to the servers. But when I finally did, I actually had a great time. It just took me so long to actually connect and start playing the game. But I have to say, once it actually does work, it's really entertaining, especially when I didn't love the demo. The more I've played it ever since, the more I'm thoroughly enjoying it. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've got to say also that there's another game that Square Enix has recently brought out that other people are comparing Outriders to this game. I won't say the game because you know what it is already. It's Avengers, the concurrent players. And the overall performance of the opening weekend for Outriders compared to Avengers, Outriders is kind of crushing it. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead! The numbers for Outriders are certainly in its favor. Let's talk about it. It just seems like Avengers... Oh God, it's not looking good for you and your future. All this and more after the drop. Okay, so including the demo, I've played between 10 and 12 hours now, actually, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, as I said, especially when I can't connect. But anyway, we're gonna leave that behind now. And there's a reason why it's getting such a high concurrent player base, because it's actually really, really good. Now, another game that came out, of course, last year in August was uh, Avengers. We've already reviewed it and spoken about it many a times. I think the general consensus is, it's a bit of a flop. Okay, it didn't do overly well, and there's reasons for that. And I think everyone's pretty much on the same page as to why those reasons meant it hasn't gone well. Even when they've brought out Hawkeye to try and make this whole thing work, it just doesn't seem like it's really picking up steam. Is there anyone alive out there? But Outriders is doing fantastically well compared to Avengers. People Can Fly's Looter Shooter hit over 100,000 concurrent players on Steam, where it is currently the top-selling game at $49.99. As a point of comparison, Square Enix's high-profile flop, Marvel's The Avengers, hit a peak of concurrent play account of 28,145 on Steam when it launched in September. It's currently averaging 1,000 concurrent players over the last 30 days. Now we're talking about nearly four times the player base at launch than Avengers. The crazy thing is, the Avengers IP is so strong, so attractive to so many people as they've been baked into the ecosystem for the last like 15 years now, you know, or 20 years since Spider-Man really came out, of course, in the early 2000s. So I would have thought that this was gonna be a lot closer in the actual race, but it hasn't been. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. Here's another thing, right? Outriders has been very well known now over this opening weekend as being extremely buggy in terms of crashing all the time, the servers just not being able to handle the weight of so many people wanting to play, and like myself, not being able to play for half a day just trying to connect to the server. So a lot of people have had those issues. Having said that, it hasn't held the actual game back from being generally received pretty well and the concurrent player base being so high. And in comparison, Avengers also had a botched launch. It wasn't just crashing servers and network problems, it was fundamentally a buggy game. But people will put that aside if the crux of it, the bones of it are really, really fantastic. And I think that's what we're seeing here with Outriders. The more I've played it, the more that people in general are playing it, the general reception I think is that people are enjoying this game because the bones of it is good. Avengers, no. It is fundamentally not that great. And that's why regardless of if you have server issues or buggy issues at the beginning, if the actual overall enjoyment of the game is not fundamentally there, you're in for a bit of a fail. So both botched, but fundamentally Outriders has performed and shown through the mess of a launch it actually has over that opening weekend. Not only that, figures are also coming out that they've also beat the all-time high of Borderlands 2 and 3. So on all accounts, you cannot say that Outriders has not been a huge smash hit over the opening weekend for Square Enix. Now, people can fly, they've said, look, it's definitely not a live service. Now, 
There's definitely a lot of people out there that are saying, no, it's definitely a live service. And other people are saying, no, it's not a live service because it doesn't have microtransactions fundamentally baked into the offering and all this kind of business. One thing that I'm not understanding is this always online mode business. Now, we've seen that a lot on Twitter. I'm sure you may have seen it too. A lot of people are pissed at this. Remember we saw that with Doom and back on Avengers? Even when they did in fact release Hawkeye in the latest DLC, it did generate five times the amount of player base when he was released. So a total of five people were playing. Ah, nice Sam, got him good. But in reality, it wasn't a huge amount. Now we've also covered in the past that Avengers now kind of has a concurrent player base on Steam charts at least of roughly a thousand people playing at any given time. Now, we can see that that doesn't look very good and even with their latest DLC, Hawkeye, it's, it's not generating the hype that they really need. So Avengers is certainly in a predicament now and, and definitely in a spot where it really needs to find its footing in the next coming months or it may be Anthem next to, you know what I mean? It may be gone, everybody. I reckon that's definitely on the cards. So just to finish, I mean, again, it just shows so fundamentally that it doesn't matter if you do have a few bumpy hiccups along the opening weekend. If the game is good and if it's marketed correctly and shown correctly like they did in the demo, although I wasn't, again, a huge fan of the demo, it did demonstrate exactly what you were going to be getting at launch. We see so many games go down this marketing track of giving you such a bullshit experience that isn't really the real thing, especially in trailers and all this kind of stuff that a lot of people are very wary. So when Outriders did this and when Square Enix did this, it did give a lot of people a lot of confidence to know that's exactly what they're getting at launch and I think it's paid off here. The network problems they've had at launch and the bumpy opening weekend hasn't held this game back because I come back to my previous point before, when you are in fact delivering a high quality product, people are enjoying it and they know exactly what they're getting. You're also permeating a pro-consumer image when you're not doing this whole microtransaction business and you're also trying to stay away from the whole live service branding because it also kind of suggests you insinuates that you don't really have a finished product. It's all gonna be pretty bare bones and barren towards the end game. It's a dirty word, live service. They wanna get away from that and I can understand why they would wanna do that. And on top of that, when Avengers is trying to make me change the Hulk's lungs. I mean, I just keep bringing back to Avengers. But when they're trying to tell me to change Hulk's spine or, or, or change Hulk's lungs, I'm sorry, I'm out. It just seems so ridiculous how they're trying to stuff things into the game where Outriders does really feel like it's created in such a way that everything is making sense. And I'm really thoroughly enjoying it, actually. But look, we'll continue to follow this game and the stories that come with it over the coming weeks and months. Surprised how big this game has been over the opening weekend. And I'm also surprised how failed Avengers has been. Uh, I feel bad now. But anyway, Avengers, hopefully you will have your Avengers next. I mean, in the good way. Hopefully you do come back. We'll have to see, though. All right, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know.